Nine games of Monday Night Basketball. The editors rank them. I count them down. You enjoy them. In at number 10, effort rewarded on this night. How about the Pistons rookie, Brandon the Wet Knight. Brandon Knight going into the Gatorade and taking a bath. You don't have to hydrate that way, Brandon Knight, but the entire Gatorade pile dumps right on Brandon Knight, and he stays in the game. You wouldn't want to see that on an injury report. Moving along, number nine, a shot that doesn't count, but rocket-powered Marcus Camby from full court drills it. Yeah, Marcus Camby hasn't lost his fastball quite yet. Watch it one more time. Just a fling to the other end of the court, and he wants it. He likes it. He doesn't get it, but he still lands at number nine. At number eight, D-Wade beats Gatorade. Shane Battier with the miss, D-Wade with the rebound throwdown in Indiana. Again, though, the Miami Heat end up a loser. That's twice they've lost in a row. On to number seven, Blake Griffin this time passing. I said passing to DeAndre 3000 with the love above, hoop and harm. And it's a little Timofey Mozgov style. Yeah, just throw it in, not quite a dunk, more just a speed ball in there on Chris Johnson at number seven. Number six, the dunk firm of Crawford and Wall representing the Wizards at number six. And you can see these guards can fly in DC. Moving along now, number five, his name is Bano Udrick. Look at the spin move and just flip it up. Tyson Chandler, that would have been the easiest block of his career, but he didn't even go up. Doesn't see anything there. Bano Udrick gets it done. Number four, are you tired of Blake Griffin alley-oops? How about he just does something on his own like this power punch? Blake Griffin absolutely crushes it, but it's not number one. No, Blake Griffin doesn't land at number one. This is just number four for Blake Griffin but it is a thing of beauty rocking the rim there at four. Number three, Dante Green. Here is a dunk that actually beats Blake Griffin. Dante Green driving on Louis Scola, going reverse style. That's right, in Houston, four rockets around him. Nobody can stop him. Dante Green at number three. At number two, a shot that does count. Paul George, I think he's got it. The line drive from beyond half court, and he absolutely sinks it. Paul George had a double-double, but no shot better than this liner three that lands at number two on the countdown. What could possibly beat that? What could we have at number one that would take that down? His name is Rodney Norval Stuckey, and Stuckey gets sticky on his jumper here. Stuckey sticks it. At number one, the Pistons win the game courtesy of Rodney Stuckey, and Stuckey lands at number one. 